This is our Earth, the only place where humanity calls home. When we gaze at this blue planet from afar, it appears serene and magnificent. But up close, the Earth's climate system is changing. Oceans are rising, fires are raging, storms are brewing. Greenhouse gases blanket the Earth, trapping heat from the sun and preventing it from escaping back into the atmosphere. Just like when you're under a blanket on a hot day, the temperature inside the blanket increases and you may start to sweat and feel uncomfortable. Similarly, when greenhouse gases trap excessive heat in the Earth's atmosphere, it leads to a rise in global temperatures, causing various effects such as climate change, rising sea levels, and extreme weather conditions. According to the UN agency's analysis, the global temperature in 2022 was 1.15 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial, that's 1850 to 1900, levels, while 2015 to 2022 ranked among the eighth warmest years on record since 1850. If temperatures rise between 1.7 and 1.8 degrees Celsius above the 1850s level, it's theorized that half the human population could be exposed to periods of life-threatening climactic conditions arising from heat and humidity. Climate change has become a collective challenge for all mankind to face, which is echoed in the words of President Xi Jinping when he talks about a community with a shared future for mankind. In recent years, China has become one of the most significant global players in promoting the development of clean energy. From a global perspective, China is now at the forefront of renewable energy development. China, uh, at the same time, China is also sharing its advanced technology with the world, helping underdeveloped countries and regions to promote the advancement of green energy technology and promote the global green energy transformation process. According to NASA satellite data, between 2000 and 2017, a quarter of the world's newly forested areas were in China. China has been a leader in the global climate change negotiation process and promoted the signing of the Paris Agreement, a move that has been widely applauded by the international community. The carbon peaking and the carbon neutrality agenda which President Xi announced is perhaps one of the most important initiatives that China has undertaken. It is, the climate is in a state of crisis and carbon is a major contributor to that. The initiative that China is taking on the space of carbon peaking is most urgent and much needed. China has the bandwidth, the big data, the technology, the innovation and the knowledge to accelerate this approach. And while we are focusing on carbon peaking, it's also very important that we have across the spectrum partnerships to drive towards the carbon neutrality agenda. Now, when China will do it, it will also be able to inform its 
through South-South cooperation, through the knowledge sharing with the rest of the world how these things can be done. And together with China, share this knowledge and experience with the rest of the world.